Right, so today I'm going to talk about fitness. Um, just out on an afternoon run, so I thought it'd be appropriate to talk about um, what the requirements are, really. Levels of fitness for firearms officer. Um, fitness has been a big part of my life since being a small kid. I've always enjoyed being involved in all different types of sporting activities, just looking after myself and, and keeping fit and being competitive. But um, also formally being a, a response officer, which is a stressful job, being a police officer in general. I use the gym as a way of de-stressing after work, because I believe that exercise is not only good for your physical health, it's good for your mental health as well. And you think about that in relation to the role of a firearms officer, you're going to find yourself in some really unusual situations where you're going to need to make really impactive, important split-second decisions. So your mental health has to be right up there alongside your physical health. Um, now, the preparation I did for, for this type of training, I would up my weight training at the gym. So I've been doing a lot of work on my, uh, my arms and my back muscles. So this became apparent to me when I did my assessment day down in Cullum um, for the CNC. Just holding the weaponry and realising how heavy it is especially being a female as well, um, that I would need to up my weights at the gym, which is what I have been doing. Um, but also ma maintaining a level of cardio because I believe that you need the combination of both for this type of role. Um, how that's going to work out, I don't know yet. It's a bit of an experiment, this. So that is something that I'm going to have to keep you updated on, and uh, I will do.